Hey guys, and welcome back to another 7th grade math lesson. Today we are going to work with converting measurements using proportions. So the reason we have to learn how to convert measurements is because um, the United States likes to use their imperial system and lots of other places use the metric system. So if you ever decide to cross the border up north into Canada, you kind of need to have an idea how to convert miles per hour into kilometers per hour because your car that you're driving from the United States might not have kilometers per hour. So not that you're going to do this in your head, but that's an example. So if I am in the United States and I am going to run a 40 yard dash and I want to invite some people from England over. Well, in England, they use meters. And if you tell them yards, they probably won't know what you mean. So how do you get from yards to meters? You're going to need what's called a conversion factor. A conversion factor is going to tell you how much one thing is. It's kind of like a unit rate. So for this instance, yards to meters, I'm going to say that one yard is equal to, and here's where it gets fun, 0 0.914 meters. Why is that a thing? Not my problem. Okay, moving on. So, one yard is 0 0.914 meters. That's not pretty. Sorry, but that is what it is. Okay, so moving on. You need these two pieces of information. So, we have our conversion factor, one yard to meters. And we want to know 40 yards to how many meters. Your instinct is going to say, oh, multiply, oh, divide, I'm going to add some. It's really easy to make a mistake. It's really easy to make a mistake when you just like go with your gut and say, oh, I need to multiply, oh, I need to divide. You might not be wrong, but you also might be wrong. So here's my recommendation. Your first step is to take your conversion factor and write it as a ratio. Write your conversion factor as a ratio. Now, it does not matter if yards is on top or meters is on top. Just pick one. I'm going to go with one yard over 0.914 meters. So one yard over 0.914 meters. I know you're going to not want to put the labels. Put the labels. Put an abbreviation. Label your numbers so that you don't make a mistake on this next spot. Your next thing is to match the units from the other measurement given. So step two, we're going to match up the other known value across from same unit. So in this instance, I have yards and yards. So those need to go across from each other. So if I had one yard over 0.914 meters equal to, it's a proportion, 40 yards. Is yards on top or is yards on bottom? Yards is on top. So I'm going to put 40 yards here. And what can I put on the bottom if I don't know what it is? We're going to put an X as a placeholder. It's going to be our variable. 
now we have a proportion and I know how to solve a proportion because we did that a couple lessons back. So step three, I am going to cross multiply. Then divide. So which two numbers am I going to multiply by first? Traditional proportional solving. I'm going to do 40 times 0.914. So 0.914 times 4, 0. I'm going to hang my 0 off the edge because it's just going to add a 0. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 plus 1 is 5. 4 times 9 is 36. And one, two, three decimals, one, two, three decimals. So I get 36.56. Then divide. In this instance, I divide by a one. So this divided by one is 36.56. So when you have your conversion factor, there's always going to be either a multiply by one or a divide by one. And you want to make sure you set up your proportion correctly so you don't accidentally multiply by the wrong numbers. So there are 36.56 meters in 40 yards. All right, let's do Another one. If I have seven kilometers, and I want to translate that into miles. One mile is approximately 1.61 kilometers. So what do I need to do first? I need to write my conversion factor as a ratio. So this is my conversion factor because it has both sides. It has that one I'm looking for. So doesn't matter which one goes on top or bottom. No, I'm gonna put one on top. So one mile over 1.61 km for kilometers. What's step two? I need to match my other unit. What's the other number I know in this problem? I know that there are seven kilometers that I'm trying to figure out. Is kilometers on top or on bottom? Kilometers is on bottom, so I want to put seven kilometers next to kilometers, and I'm going to put X on top for my unknown miles. Now that I have my proportion set up, what do I do? I'm going to cross multiply. What two numbers do I cross multiply? One times seven, which is? seven. Now I have to divide by 1.61. So divide that by 1.61. Now if I had gone back to the beginning and just asked you this before I set it all up, how many of you would probably have said, oh you multiply seven times 1.61? I, it's probably more than you're willing to admit at this point because that's always like gut instinct. You want the easy way out. I get that, but it doesn't take much effort to write this out so that you know you're doing it right. So when I divide decimals, what do I need to do? I need to move that decimal two spaces to the right. And if I move the decimal outside two spaces, what else do I have to do? I have to move this decimal inside two spaces. 
and the decimal goes straight up, and I put zeros right there. How many times can 161 go into 700? Four. Four times 161 is 644. Subtract, get 56, add a zero, bring it down. How many times can 161 go into 560? Three. Three times 161 is 483. And subtract, get 77. Add a zero, bring it down. This is our last one. How many times can 161 go into 770? We're going to quit there. All right, so there are 4.34 miles in 7 kilometers. So this is 4.34, and it was miles. All right, that's how we are going to convert our measurements. Make sure you look for your conversion factor because that's going to be key with solving these. Um, you are doing a great job. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the bell to get notifications. Bye, everybody.